Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where we are now so close to the season finally ending and the transfer window reopening. Some deals have of course already been done, but there'll be plenty more in the coming months. As always, tweet me at Doogie Critchley or the Football Daily account with the hashtag transfer talk to get involved. Let's get started. We start this week with some Man City news. After their Champions League ban was overturned last week, the transfer market rumours are starting to heat up again, as Pep Guardiola's side look to reclaim the Premier League from Liverpool and assert themselves as a European power. And following Leroy Sane's departure to Bayern Munich, they seem to have already identified his replacement. Valencia's Ferran Torres. Torres has just completed his third season in Los Che's first team, and this campaign notched up four goals and five assists in 34 La Liga appearances, and adding a further four goal contributions in less than 500 minutes of Champions League action. Just 20 years old, he ranks in the top four amongst his teammates for each of shots, key passes and dribbles per 90, whilst Mallorca's on loan Real Madrid prodigy Kubo was the only player under the age of 21 to rack up more league minutes than the Spaniard. You'd think that an asset like that would warrant a firm hands-off warning from a team with aspirations like Valencia. However, the under-21 international sees his contract expire next summer and has indicated no desire to remain at the Mestalla. So, with the intention of selling now to at least make some money off the player who joined them as a six-year-old, the club will reluctantly let him go. But Manchester City and Valencia are somewhere apart in their valuation of the winger. Ninth in La Liga, the Spaniards have set the asking price at £40 million for Torres, who has been likened in skill set to Sadio Mane. However, City are only prepared to pay £32 million for a player also compared to Cristiano Ronaldo. But with apparent competition from Juventus and rivals Liverpool and Man United, Pep may need to relent and accept Valencia's demands. But we want to know what you make of this rumour. Who needs to compromise more in order to get this deal done, Man City or Valencia? Let us know down below. Ferran Torres isn't the only young player Man City are looking to take from La Liga to the Etihad Stadium. Although it feels like he has been around forever, Atletico Madrid centre-back Jose Jimenez is just 25 years old, having been signed by Diego Simeone as an 18-year-old in spring 2013. It's no secret that Guardiola's side are in desperate need of a centre-back, and the Uruguayan has been identified as the perfect option. But the 58 times capped international will come at a premium. If City want to sign him, they will have to meet his release clause of 120 million euros, a fee that would eclipse the previous record deal for a defender and be the fourth biggest in football history, slotting in between Joao Felix and Antoine Griezmann. It would also blow City's current record transfer of 70 million euros into the water, with Rodri also being an Atleti player this time last year. Los Colchoneros have conceded less than 30 goals in each season that Jimenez has been a starter for the club. Although that is just as much in part to Simeone's tough to beat defensive setup, backed up by one of the world's best goalkeepers in Jan Oblak. And it's not like the 25 year old hasn't had his injury issues either. Although never anything serious, he's made just 187 appearances in six years. Not yet playing 40 games a season in the Spanish capital. Is 120 million euros an acceptable fee to pay for Jose Jimenez? How much do you think Pep should spend on him? Or should City go for a different centre back altogether? As ever, get your comments down below. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Euro Football Daily and hit that notification bell to never miss a Euro transfer talk. Heading over to Italy now, where once again Juventus are in touching distance of picking up another Scudetto, making it nine in a row for the Turin side, presuming they cross the finish line first, of course. We've spoken on here before and across our channel of a potential revolution at the club seeing the old guard move on for younger stars, a process seemingly started with the signing of De Ligt last summer. So naturally, one of the players at the top of their list is Raul Jimenez, who turned 29 back in May. Yes, the Wolves strike will be 30 next year, but Maurizio Sarri has picked him up as a candidate to lead the line for the Bianconeri next season. But Man United are also in the running for the Mexican. Yes, Jimenez the has 17 league goals year, this campaign from an expected goals of just 15, after moving from Benfica on a permanent deal of €38 million Euros last summer after initially impressing on loan. You would anticipate Wolves turning a profit on him if they were to sell, which seems unlikely, but there is an X factor at play here, George Mendes. The super agent responsible for a number of Wolves' signings over the last few years is also the representative for the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, this link doesn't actually mean anything, but Mendes often has a way of getting what he wants, and there'd no doubt be a handsome paycheck in it for him as well. There is also a backup option should Juventus fail in their pursuit of Raul Jimenez, and it's Arsenal's Alexandre Lacazette. Like the Mexican, the Frenchman is also 29 years old, but is enjoying a far more modest campaign in comparison 
with 12 goals in all competitions in the Gunners' underwhelming season. But as ever, there is a catch. If Juventus want to bring someone in, they have to make money on a sale first. And the player being touted as a big money exit is Brazilian winger Douglas Costa. With the old lady wanting to see 50 million euros in their bank account before the 29 year old moves on. Two sides are reportedly interested in his services Manchester City and PSG. We've already discussed City's need for a winger, even if they should be prioritising other positions. But there's the added reasoning that Costa thrived under Pep at Bayern Munich. The former Shakhtar Donetsk man netted four times a career high and assisted nine times in the Bundesliga putting up 2.4 shots, 1.8 key passes and 3.3 dribbles a game for their lone season together in Bavaria. Of course, his production has dropped since, but you'd think Guardiola will get the best out of him again in Manchester. As for PSG, despite having the likes of Di Maria, Mbappe and Neymar, who are all capable of playing in wider areas, the club have more often than not adopted a more narrow formation. They could definitely use a player of Costa's quality to provide some much needed width. But at 50 million euros, do you think it's a deal worth making? Let us know what you think of all these Juventus rumours in the comments down below. We round off this week's Euro transfer talk with the latest rumours coming out of Barcelona. In a campaign where they sacked the manager whilst top of the table, the Blaugrana could well be making another change at the top within days. President Jose Maria Bartomeu and Kike Setien are set to hold crisis talks this week which could seal the fate of the 61-year-old. The former Batiste manager has been in charge for just 22 matches but early defeat in the Copa del Rey and of course relinquishing the La Liga title to Clasico rivals Real Madrid following a defeat against 10 men of Sosuna have hardly endeared himself to the masses. So who's in the running for the job, especially considering Xavi recently signed a new deal with Qatari side Al Said? Laurent Blanc and Patrick Clivert, both former Barcelona players, are at the top of the list. Frenchman Blanc, now 54, hasn't had a managerial role since being released from duties at PSG back in 2016. Clivert, on the other hand, has virtually no experience, managing the Caribbean island nation of Curacao for a year back in 2015, and he was number two to current seed off at Cameroon last year. Now, though, he's the academy director for Barcelona, almost making him a perfect short-term replacement as Barcelona try to figure out what they really want. As ever, get in the comments and tell us what you think Barcelona should do. Keep Setien, sack him, who should replace him? Let us know. So guys, that's all we've got time for on Euro Transfer Talk for another week. What did you guys think of the stories? Which of these can you actually see happening? Let me know in the comments down below. As I said earlier, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.